Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6 and today we are moving back into the action. As you can tell, we have to, no, no, not play that map. I need to go and try more of the intermediate maps. We completed some of them in the last episode. We're gonna be doing more of them. Oh, it looks like I actually unlocked some of the advanced maps as well, which is super exciting. But yeah, we're gonna be doing the last two intermediate maps and I guess moving on into advanced maps, which will be a lot of fun. So we have Rake and Spice Islands to do, but first off, I wanna change my Euro. I've been using, uh. Quincy a lot. I'm thinking that I want to try all of them a little bit more. So we can move back to Gwendolyn. She has Firestorm, which if we take a look at this, uh, sets the whole light uh, screen alight, burning all balloons. I thought that would be really good if we could actually get to that point. Of course, it's hard to do that in easy mode, but we'll give it a shot and see how things go. But yeah, I've been having so much fun with this game and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. So yeah, we start with how much money? 650. I want to play some boomerang monkeys today. I think that'd be a fun way to start. So the thing is I need to sort of check. We can pop up the eight balloons per throw, throws 20% faster or has longer range. Maybe it'd be smarter to have two boomerang monkeys to start. Cause as you can see, there are sort of two lanes here. Can I get rid of this? 350, okay. Um, so let's start with two boomerang monkeys and we'll start building them out as much as we can. Having you have longer range is you know not a problem. Having you have fire rings is also pretty good. Uh, that'll set them ablaze, and that'll work pretty well with Gwendolyn. We can have like a cool fire theme. But these guys could definitely have a lot of room for improvement when it comes to their experience, so I'm definitely excited for that. And yeah, we'll just have some fun. And I wanted to sort of make my way through the list of all of the towers and try to earn experience however way I can. So for right now, that's going to be doing all of this, then let's get to it. So what else do I have here? Improved ranks or throws 20% faster? I think for since you already have longer range, let's go and make sure that your ranks are more effective. And then for you, dude, down this way, we can go ahead and give you faster throwing so you can get rid of some of these guys faster, cause even faster, yep. Bionic boomerang, that's something we unlocked recently. Um, replaces arm with a strong bionic arm that can throw boomerangs extremely fast. It'd be fun, you know, to, what's it called? To save up for something like that. Right now we'll have the red hot ranks as well. That way no leads will be a problem. The only thing I, I can imagine might be tough is camo. Cause I don't think any of this can see camo. Uh, it doesn't look like it. There's heavy Kylie boomerangs that allow for straight path instead of curved. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna need something that gets rid of uh, camo, because unfortunately boomerang monkeys don't have that ability. So I don't know what that'll be, but we do have a good couple of waves to worry about it. I mean, we could just get a Buccaneer monkey. That sort of always seems to be my backup. <laughs> you know, maybe we should do snipers as well. I don't really do too many snipers. That'd be fun. So for now though, I, I, I wanna keep leveling these guys up. It's gonna be a while till I can get that 1360, so I, that's probably something I shouldn't worry about. The glaives though would be great. And then maybe a glue monkey. A glue monkey to slow everything down a little bit as we're trying to uh, figure out this harsh balloon filled world. That sounds pretty good to me. So we already got some major upgrades for you because of some daily challenges in the past. So that sounds pretty fun. I still have that super difficult daily challenge that I've yet to defeat. Might try to get in today's episode towards the end. Just, you know, that'd be fun. Well, even now though, we're having a hard time with this. So, oh, okay, I got rid of most of them though. I'm gonna take a couple of damage. Maybe now it's time for a hero. 765 might be a little bit tough to save up for, but it'll be worth our while. Because the heroes are very important and I can't ignore that. It's just hard to find a balance. There's so much to save up for, even in easy difficulty. This is not an easy game. I mean, it's an easy difficulty for a tough game, but <laughs> there's a lot to learn, especially if you're going into it relatively fresh like I am. Okay, so we almost have 765 already. We're at 630, 650. Oh, we just need a couple more. So let's slow this down a little bit and try to find a good spot to put her. I think definitely in the crossroads of everything would be great. Something like that. Okay, so 1,105 isn't too bad for that, that um, that uh, ricochet glaive. So I think we'll try that. Obviously we can't try the Kylie boomerangs at the moment because we can't have it, we don't have enough experience, but how close are we? we we'll be, be able to get it pretty soon. So I probably want to get a th third boomerang monkey soon as well. No, don't zoom away from the map or the game or whatever, the app, that's what it is. Okay, so. Oh, this is a dart monkey, I'm being a dingus. Oh, well, at least that'll get us, um... Let's try this. That way I can see all of the, uh, what's it called, camo, because I haven't been able to do that before. I mean, I'm sure Gwendolyn can get them, but it's only Gwendolyn, which 
probably be a little bit overwhelming over time. Okay, so we, we lost a couple of lives. But it's not the end of the world, so let's not act like it. Okay, so we got the Kali boomerang. Once again, straight path instead of curved. I love all these pictures, they're so cute. The next thing is gonna be uh, the more glaives, which is 8,500, so we got a lot of work for that one. Level up. Okay, so, and I would really like that 1,100, but, you know, let's go ahead and start throwing this out. You know, if that's gonna help, it's gonna help. I mean, so far it's not helping too much. We're popping them before they even get there. Come on, we can get it, we can get it. It looks like I can throw that out quite often too, so that's something I should keep in mind. Like we can throw it out again. It doesn't have a very high cooldown, so I feel like that's something I gotta keep in mind is how good are the cooldowns for those moves, because I could probably use them more often than I do because of how accessible the cooldowns are. Okay, so 1360 is our next goal when it comes to saving up for some stuff. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, come on, do the, I, I thought I threw the, the fire potion, not really. I missed another one. I keep on missing it just one, you know? That's sort of silly. You know what, let's, uh, let's upgrade the, let's do glue soak, let's do corrosive glue, let's, let's upgrade some of that stuff. I think that might be helpful for the glue monkey. And of course when I say that, like uh, camo start popping up that I can't handle as much. Come on. That's definitely gonna help a bit more. But the bionic mon monkey I'm sure would be really great. Oh man, do I stink at this game or what? These maps are tough. Jeez, I need to get a monkey out here. No, not, why does it do that? I don't understand. We have enough to upgrade you though. We can go ahead and get, uh, I wanna get this. It's almost there. Um, we might be able to get like one more out like this. I don't wanna do too much with you for right now. If you could just hang out and, cause there's always like a, a blue or a red that gets by. So if we could just do that and just earn up our 1360 that we're ever so close to, that'd be perfect. Get that out there. Don't know how much it'll actually do for us. Okay, so we have the 1360. Go ahead and get the bionic boomerang. Sounds awesome to me. Okay, so you can upgrade to the Kylie boomerangs when you can. Uh, we'll do improved rangs. I think that'd be pretty good. Even give you glaive, sure. That sounds great. So that's gonna be bouncing between stuff. Very good. So you, the glue monkey, should be enough for this upgrade, the balloon liquefier. Liquefies balloons by popping them 10 times every second. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so we probably wanna do Moab glue though. That's a really good one. I mean, I'm getting closer to closer to round 40. I really don't know how these guys will handle all of that. It's sort of a weird setup for sure. I don't know. I mean, I don't always wanna rely on the buccaneer monkey, cat, like, uh, breaking me out of bad situations, but sometimes it seems to be worthwhile. Okay, for now, we'll do crossbow. So we're at 33 now. I'll just save up a lot of my cash if I can. Ooh, we can't hit many of these at all. Jeez. Okay, so we definitely need more, I forgot about the sniper monkeys. I totally forgot that was something I was gonna do. Jeez, I'm forgetful. Okay, so for right now, we're gonna have to get you the night vision goggles, right? Well, we're just gonna give you the, uh, the camo shot. That was it, okay, night fishing goggles, okay. So the main Moab, we probably wanna do the top one then. Jeez, it's so tough to earn money. So very tough. I feel like I'm having such a hard time with these harder maps, for an obvious reason, I'm sure. Hmm. Let's go ahead and throw this out. Oh, cause there's zebra balloons coming out. While I love zebras, I do not like these zebra balloons. <laughs> They're tough. More glaives, multiple object, advanced ricochet greatly enhances uh, the already extraordinary powers of the Glaive Ricochet Monkey. Sure, give it a shot. 22.5, or 25.50. Don't know if I like that. Okay, so once again, these camos. I need more for the camos. Maybe the triple shot monkey with camo detection might be pretty good. I don't know though. I'm thinking, you know what? If we want to do anti-moab so badly, let's do this. There we go, that should be pretty good. Just hopefully it actually shows up on the left. All right, we should be able to save up 2720 before then though, right? Ah, uh, okay, we're able to get most of them. I'm trying to stop them, okay? Oh, do this, do this. There we go, that'll be helpful. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, we get the Moab Assassin. That's gonna be helpful. So now we can get that and that. So now if a Moab does show up, at least we can get rid of it. We can also do that. 
which that doesn't really last very long. It disappears before I could really use it. Come on, you guys can do it. I know you can. Oh, nice. So, goodbye, Moab. Oh, gosh. I always forget that there's still so much more. <laughs> All right, we got the victory, which is pretty good. I'll take it. Um, we are in free play now. I, that's not really what I wanted to do, but it's what we did. How am I doing with experience? I mean, we have a lot more to get for some of that stuff. So you know what? We're gonna peace out with that. We are going to go home and see what else we can do. I mean, I have a lot of monkey money at this point. I'm thinking that I should probably start using superpowers a bit more often. But for right now, let's focus on our final intermediate map. I'm pretty sure this was in BTD5, so a very similar one. So I'm really excited for this. It's basically just water everywhere. So we are definitely gonna have some fun with this one. These are some of my favorite maps because we could just boom, buccaneer, and just like have a ton of submarines if we wanted to. It's just gonna be very fun and very cool. Let's do long range. I don't wanna do right into, uh, we're not gonna need, oh, there was a hammerhead shark in the background there. That was scary, spooky, could take down our ship. Um, I'm gonna save up to 425, I think that'd be better. Yeah, I think so. So let's keep going for that, got it? Oh, oh, we'll get it though. Okay, so not so much. We already got an upgrade for you though. Yeah, we have the 37,000 for the carrier flagship. Does extra damage can place other monkeys on the upper decks of the ship, increases attack speed. Oh wow, so you can put monkeys on top of it. Um, Increases attack speed of all water-based monkeys. Oh, that sounds good for this specific situation. So good for this specific situation. Okay, so what should we get now? Probably the 340. Uh, those two got away, unfortunately, but that's fine. Come on now. What are we gonna get? Uh, not quite, come on. I'm just gonna tap that until we have it. There we go. Pretty good. I mean, we wanna get that top layer soon as well, but I just felt like the grapes could've been helpful for this. Maybe we should save it for another Buccaneer Monkey. 470 is a lot. A whole big bunch. I think we'll put them right under the first island if we can now. Come on, we're at 340, I'm almost 100 away. 370, 100 away, come on. Come on, we're almost there, almost there, almost there. So far we're handling it just fine though. Got it. Yeah, perfect right here, I think. Because then we can do the, the the top and the bottom upgrades. It definitely, I feel like this game gets a lot more complicated when there's three upgrade paths instead of two, for an obvious reason. It gets a little overwhelming with all I can possibly do. It's just sort of trying to figure out what's gonna be best. And I think for right now, faster shooting would be great. Okay. Let's try to get 295. Nice. Like, I wanna be able to get Gwendolyn soon, but honestly, I just don't know if it's all that worth it at the moment. We can survive a lot of rounds just with the Buccaneer monkeys. So let's do the Crow's Nest. That'll give, I think, slightly more range, but more than that camo site. And then we'll do double shot, which will be really nice. The, uh, the fire rate of the top layer, or the top upgrade path for the Buccaneer monkey is really, really good. And like, we have a lot of experience to get for you. I know I wanted to do boomerang monkeys, and I could do one, but I feel like we need to uh, utilize how much water is available here. So I might do like one boomerang monkey and then really focus on buccaneers for the rest of it. Let's try to see how things go. So one boomerang, just like that. And figure this out a little bit. Okay. So, so far, so good. Hmm. Let's go ahead and set that up. So now that the the flaming grapes will be great because that'll get rid of some of the lead. And I'll put some stuff on fire. Obviously the range isn't super duper important. I think that maybe focusing on these two, especially since I really, I wanna try the bionic boomerang a little bit more. But right there, that's gonna get rid of a lot of balloons pretty quickly. Like, and they can't get too far away. But then we could like litter the entire like border of the screen with submarines if we wanted to. And that's sort of a big thing. Hmm. Okay, so you know what? Let's get Gwendolyn out. Okay, that's a little scary. Oh, immediately as she pops in, she's gonna be able to start complaining. Great. Okay, well, she leveled up. All right, she was too busy cheering about her level up to notice that we got damaged a little bit. Okay, so she's gonna get some pretty quick level ups at first, which is always nice. So she already has her fire potion. So we can throw that out whenever. But as you can see, it doesn't really work. So she's probably the worst hero for this map. Okay, good to know. So I think, oh, 
Oh, nice, we got a level up, that's another monkey point. I forgot to do that last episode. So this episode, we gotta make sure we use our monkey wisdom as much as possible. Um, We'll go ahead and do bionic boomerang. That shoots out, I guess, boomerangs really fast. How are your upgrades doing? You still have a lot more to go until you have that 9,000. And, uh, okay. If I could go for that 2505, that would be pretty good. So I'm a little worried that Gwendolyn wasn't actually worth the money in this situation. But once again, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so we're at 1500 now. We're about to hit it. So we got a lot more work to do to earn up that kind of cash. It's definitely more worth it than the Merchant Man for now. But the Merchant Man, once we get to farther upgrades, the more Merchant Men we have, the stronger the Merchant Men become. And that's crazy. But as long as by wave 40, so like we can go ahead and get this and this shoots super duper quickly, so I think that's gonna get rid of a lot of our problems. And you guys can see camo, so that makes it super easy. Um, and now if we can save up until wave 40, the uh, the cat and that gets rid of uh, Moabs, that'd be really good. So 765, got it, now we got that 3825, that might be possible, it might not, we'll have to wait and see. And then we might actually push to free play for this one and sort of see how crazy we can get with this. Cause I feel like this is a really good map to get some crazy stuff going. I mean, I know the palm trees in the background there might make some things really ridiculous, but we're only gonna have submarines back there anyway, so I don't think that matters. Um, but for right now, we're not earning up as much money as I would like. As you can see, we're, we're definitely doing some damage to these things. Okay, so 2,300 now. Got a level up for Gwendolyn. 3,000, so we should be able to get the 3825 for sure. And that'll get rid of whatever Moab we need to get rid of. Let's try this again. Okay, so that time it did. I guess we just got unlucky last time. Never mind then. Gotta be paying attention to that, so in two more rounds. In the meantime, I probably should just go for the 7650. Oh, do I have enough? Yes, for the turbo charge. Turbo charge ability. Make this monkey attack incredibly fast for 10 seconds. That sounds okay. I mean, we'll use it. I like how cool he looks, though. These are some cool looking monkeys. So we'll try that out whenever we can. Whenever we have it, I guess. Because we don't currently have it. But yeah, I think the 7650 is still without, I mean, 3,400 is actually pretty cheap. Considering, it's just, you know, hard to have all those kind of active abilities to manage. It gets a little crazy at that point. Okay. Well. Okay, so this is our first small class, see ya. Victory! I love that so much, it makes it so easy. Okay, so we got our free play going on now. Have that going out, it's not gonna be too big of a deal. So now we have this, I think it does Im improve him to some amount, I would hope, beyond just the fact that it gives him this active ability. So we just have to pay attention for when things get nasty. That's sort of the problem about being this close to the entrance point. But we're earning up a lot of cash this way. I feel like this is a better setup just because Buccaneer monkeys are so gosh darn powerful. Yeah. Okay, so this is where things get a little scary. Uh, we handled it. Okay, so we're at 5,000. Once again, I'm trying to get 7,650. And then we'll just sort of chill out with that and try to just earn up stuff for the the boomerang monkeys, I think. Because what are we at experience-wise for you? Again, not too much because, you know, we have a lot more buccaneers doing things than you guys, so. I mean, I want to get that Moab press, because that sounds good. Heavy Kali boomerangs hit MOA balloons multiple times per throw and sometimes knocks them back and forth way along the path. That actually sounds really good. So I would like to try something like that for the MOAs that we don't just immediately eat with the pirate ship. But I just wanted to get this to make this a bit more manageable. So can we put monkeys on here right now? We can't. Well, when we upgrade it for $20,000, we could. Fortified ceramic balloons are coming up next. So I want to be able to get another boomerang monkey out. We have $631, so that's enough for another, uh, one of you. And we already have, you know, you in this upgrade path, so if we could try something like that, that'd be pretty good, I think. Okay, let's try this, let's try that. Okay, so the super fast firing actually really, really helped there. It was a lot more powerful than I was expecting, which is great. Okay, so keep moving. It usually only seems that one upgrade path will have active ability, so that's always good to keep in mind as well. Right, right now, that's the same thing with this uh, monkey buccaneer is that he's the middle upgrade path, and because of that, he gets tons. So we're trying to get 35,000 for you. We're getting that pretty quickly. Okay, so. Hey. Hi, hi. Um, Let's go ahead and get this one. Get the more glaives after that, which actually should be pretty affordable. We can throw out the, uh, the fire potion one more time. Jeez, those are shots going everywhere. 
I love it. And like I said, at any point in time, we could try some other stuff, but I just really want to upgrade the, the boomerang monkeys. It's sort of a big thing. 37,500 for the gl Glaive Lord sounds insane. That's like so much experience. That's like the most experience we've seen for an upgrade so far, I think. I mean, maybe some of the uh, Buccaneer ones were like 40,000. Um, yeah, that's 40,000. That's the most expensive one we've seen. That's gonna be a lot of work, for sure. Oh gosh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, look at how powerful that is. That really gets rid of them. I like it. Okay, so what we wanna do at this point is, where are you at? You're right here. So we can't really afford anything more for you. So we probably wanna get a third boomerang monkey out this way and give him the final upgrade right here. And we're gonna give him improved Rang's glaives. I think that's better. Now I'm thinking about getting multiple cyborgs at this point. Eat that, thank you. The, the cooldown for that uh, bionic monkey thing though is not that great. I mean, I probably shouldn't have used it there. Okay, we're actually able to handle things surprisingly well. I mean, things are getting a little scary. Okay, like with those, but because we can't see those with the, uh, you know. So you know what, we're gonna get another buccaneer out. You know what, or maybe we should do some marine? Ah, I feel like it's just too much, so we should just try some different stuff. Got it. So let's go ahead and make sure that you can see that stuff. And we'll go ahead and just make you give us money. That might be the best thing for us. And then I'll make you, make you shoot super fast. So you're gonna be making us cash, which is fantastic. And uh, just focus on these dudes, these monkeys. Okay, hold on, should I have, oh gosh. Just, oh, we actually got all of them because it was airplane. That was amazing. Okay, so this is a setup right here. Um, I'm glad we're doing free play. The problem is that it's just not much experience. But I wanna see if we can't, oh, we are not, do we get any experience in free play? 1496. Go ahead and grab that one. Go ahead and do this one. We do, but it's very, very little. So I don't know if this is a worthwhile way of doing this, or maybe it's just that they're not destroying very much because of, no, it just doesn't feel like we get very much experience. Okay, well, good to know. So we can't really get any more upgrades for our boomerang monkeys in this setup. I mean, we could get upgrades for other towers, but I'm focusing on the, the boomerang monkeys right now. So, let's go ahead and head out uh, to home. And I think that now that we've completed some more stuff, uh, win games on five different intermediate apps, very good. That's all that's available for intermediate. So, uh, as you can see, we have the last uh, advanced map unlocked, and we'll try those probably in the next episode, or maybe sometime this episode. I wanted to give another crack at the daily challenge. Don't know if it'll work out or not, but I think it would be a pretty good thing to focus on. Let's try it. Like, I really don't know if it'll work, but I, I enjoyed it last time. It was fun to try this out. Getting more experience for the Monkey Buccaneer is always great, so we'll give it a shot. Got more range like that. Come on, come on. Oh geez, all those red balloons. It's a good thing he's focusing on what's first. Because if not there, then that would have been ruining me there. Maybe it'd be better instead of upgrading him too much is to get more towers out right now. I thought that would be smarter. So if we get a second Buccaneer, if we get our uh, like two submarines, two Buccaneers, we can definitely squeeze that in there. So if we could get that and then also get a cannon, that'd be a pretty good combo. And then we could just focus on upgrading those things like crazy. That'd be pretty nice. Okay, so let's try this out, see how things go. Need another 350 for another one of you, and we're holding it back pretty well right now. Sometimes I feel like I underestimate the power of a base tower. Now that sort of rhymes, it's pretty cool. I mean, obviously that falls out of fashion pretty quickly, but at the beginning, it's pretty nice. So instead of holding on to all this cash trying to upgrade right away, maybe it'd just be better if I focused on this so I'm not getting overwhelmed all the time. So we'll just save up another 595, and then we'll save up a 650. The cannons are really expensive. I'm just pretty surprised by. I mean, I feel like their upgrade paths are pretty easy to afford, which is sort of the mix you get with it. We'll try this out and see how things end up going. Um. So 595, almost there, almost there, almost there. Got it. Nice. Okay. So now we're gonna get the 650. That should be good. All right, we're at 300. Almost at four. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. The more you use a certain monkey, the more upgrades you'll unlock. Yep, I know about that, don't worry. 
So as soon as we get this cannon, things are gonna go real quick. I mean, I probably wanna get more than one cannon eventually, but for right now, just getting something to work with, that would be nice. Because if I beat this, it'll be the first time I've defeated something on hard mode. Which is why, if things are looking good, I wanna be able to use some monkey powers, or the, the power-ups, or whatever they're called, you know what I mean. So at this point, we're getting close to the fact that I'll probably need the crow's nest. Which shouldn't be too bad, because we're still handling everything quite well. We're able to get some good damage on everything to start things off. I mean, we could get started with just upgrading you. Because once again, as, like I said before, the upgrades for him are pretty cheap to start. So we'll probably do the 325, because that's the most accessible thing next. So as soon as that's available. And then we'll do missile launcher. Come on now. 430, that should be pretty good. And then we'll leave it at that and start upgrading some other monkeys. So almost at 430, got it. So missile launcher is pretty gosh darn good. For you, we'll probably do the faster shooting. Because it seems like the faster shooting monkey definitely has a, the priority when it comes to actually having popping power. When we get that third upgrade is when things get really crazy with it. So that's something I want to prioritize. And at that point, camos don't really stand a chance for a little while. So once I get this 430, then I can focus on the double shot. And I think that'll be good. Got to use all my skills. Everything I know about balloons combined into one focused effort to win. And hopefully that'll turn out okay. And then soon enough we'll have the, you know, the uh, intelligence for the uh, the submarine monkeys, the sub monkeys, and that'll be good. So right now we're doing pretty good. If we can get the destroyer though, that's when things will turn out really, really nice. So that's what we want to afford soon. But for right now, let's give you longer range. So we're at 25 now. So I feel like this is actually a pretty nice setup for 25. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. I'm gonna get crow's nest, and we're probably gonna do grapes next. Because that way we can earn up into that path, have the, Mo the Moab Destroyer, which is always really nice. Because I think that can also grab the higher tier of Moabs, like the red one. It can just grab the red one and just destroy it instantly, which totally makes everything easy. You know, just head on over to Easy Street real quick. Okay, so should I save it for the 3,000? It might be worth my while. I mean, I maybe I might be able, can I squeeze in another? I could squeeze in another sub. If I can squeeze in another sub, does that mean I can? Yeah, I can. That is huge, because I can make you a money earning one. And that I feel like would make a huge difference. So we're gonna keep working on that as much as possible. So let's go ahead and get you to the 430. 2485 is a bit expensive at first, but we'll get to it. What do you have? Okay. Also, the grapes and the hot shot are both 540, which is interesting. Okay. Because now we'll have a lot of like destroying the Moab, which would be pretty good. Hmm. So I could get that. We're at 33 out of 80. So we're almost at the end of what we expected to be easy mode. So we need to get this mob destroyer out real soon. So I think at this point we need to focus in on that because things are gonna get tough. You definitely don't earn up as much money in hard mode and I feel like that's something I haven't been focusing on. I need to start focusing on it. At least it doesn't feel like it to me. Come on, got it. That should be a little bit more helpful. 4,860 in the next couple of rounds. We'll have to wait and see. That's might be, ooh, where I'll have to do some other stuff. So we have 28,000 experience so I can get the trade empire. Oh no, this is for the buccaneer. What do we got for you? The Energizer. Heroes earn experience 50% faster while in the Energizer's radius. Cooldowns for abilities of water monkeys in the radius have halved. Sounds pretty crazy. Look at that thing. Awesome. Yeah, I haven't really worried about those guys too much because I really want to be able to get this. And then we can go all in with getting a lot of stuff, I think. But getting that 4860 is going to be a real challenge. I can say that much. But they can't. They haven't been able to get to that second loop whatsoever. The, the, the camos still aren't sending a chance. We're halfway there, and once again, if I need to, I can use the powers. That's what they're there for, apparently. <laughs> what do you know? Come on, come on, come on. Thirty-two thousand or thirty-two hundred, not thirty-two thousand. Oh, it's getting nasty. Okay, we got it. We got it. Come on, a little bit more. This is round 38, we should be able to do it then. Yeah, we're gonna be able to do it, it's gonna be awesome. So do that, grab that, and now, lot less worries. But this is where things can also still be very difficult, and we just have to be worried about everything. I think we need the money upgrades in, but I think it's also good that I start upgrading these guys. So we wanna have the advanced intel for them because it's insane. 540, it's a little bit expensive. Oh gosh, oh gosh, things are getting bad. Um, 
really bad. I need to sort of figure out what I want to do about that right now. Go ahead and get the grapes. That'll be helpful. Okay, so we took some damage. Um, first Moab, just grab them. Got it. Cool. So, these guys can see everything. Let's make them have the twin guns. That definitely helps. Definitely helps. Okay, so, making them have the air burst darts next might be good, but I think we might have to use a power up. So let's go ahead and do that real quick, just like that. And grab that. Oh, did I grab it? Yeah, I did, okay, very good. So let's do triple guns. That's pretty good, I'm using this money real quick. We'll do ballistic missile for you. And that's about all the money I got. <laughs> I mean, I can get out another one or I can buy another one. We have so much money. Let's go ahead and buy a couple more. Because they seem to be some of the most helpful things. I mean, I can try some of the other stuff. Like, like what do we got, monkey boost? Twice as fast for 15 seconds. Increase cash production from all of your towers by 25% for the next round and the ne entire next round. I feel like I need that. You know what, let's try it. I wanna see how this goes. Oh boy. Maybe I should've used that at the beginning of the round? Probably. So Moab Mawar for you sounds great. So you're sending out those ballistic missiles now, which is always good. And back here, you, I wanna be able to get the 2485. So I think that's what we'll focus on. Cause then we can just earn up money like that a little bit easier, a little bit more naturally. Come on, got it. Okay, so now things are gonna go really well. I might even get another cannon out this way. This is where things get scary. Bigger bombs, extra range, frag bombs. Cause we haven't gotten the balloon impact, but we're about to get it. That would be pretty good. So I can't wait for that. So got that now. Bigger Bombs is 1620, which is really expensive. But seems to be worth our while. Can we shove another? I'm doubting it. Oh, 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 I saw it right here. That changes so much more. Okay, I think I'm gonna make him another twin gun. Oh gosh, we really need all the help we can get though. So doing that would be good. We could do the cluster bombs, or we could do the really big bombs. I feel like I want to do the cluster bombs. I think they're better. Come on now. What should we be getting next? So hard to say. Like maybe it would be better to get the uh, 30, 18, and you know what, yeah, that's really good. I don't know why we haven't gotten that. That's a really good one that we haven't gotten, and we're about to get it anyways, so got it. That's a super ridiculous fire rate that should be able to take care of everything super nicely. We might be able to do this, and it looks like we have enough for Pirate Lord now. Whoa, you look cool! This is, can shoot three gappling hooks at once and plunder extra cash from each Moab class balloon brought down with them. How crazy is that? 22,000 for that upgrade though is insane. Totally insane. And it seems like you have your balloon impact. Explosions become so violent, balloons are stunned for a short time when they are hit. I feel like that would be awesome to have. Right now I only have this one, but soon, very soon. You know what, we're just gonna get another one out. We're only gonna start working towards that one. And we'll do faster reload for you. Make it a bit of a different combo. Okay, so we have that. Okay, we don't even have to worry about that Moab. That's good. Apparently Moab actually stands for mother of all balloons, but I like making it my own. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, so lots of stuff going on. Lots of different options. If I can earn up 9,000, that's always a helpful upgrade. And we get there real quick right now. Especially with these uh, subs doing what they're doing. I mean, I wanna get you, because you actually, you're usually really helpful. I mean, I could try something like this. 2,700 for that next one. The cooldown reducing sounds really good. So even if we're not firing as much right now, that feels like it could be really nice. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. 2,700 really isn't that bad. And then we get reduced cooldown for that uh, one monkey. Okay, so we could try that. Jeez, that's a lot. We're only 56, or 54 rounds in. So we got a lot more to do with this one. Okay, so 34.55 isn't too expensive at this rate. So we should probably be getting that for the Mall of Assassin. Got it. Okay, so let's do the huge impact for you now. 34.55 is also not too expensive. These are all camo, so this is where things get scary. But these guys are being permanently unveiled, so they'd be hit on the way back. 
Level up, we got another monkey knowledge wisdom that I gotta remember to use after this. 3455, that's all I'm looking for right now. Got it, that's one of them down. Got this one, so this stuns the balloons, which allows our other ones to attack them like crazy, which is always good. I wasted that. Oh no, okay, I pressed it, but nothing happened because there was no Moabs out. That's nice to know that they have that. And it's not just always up to me to risk everything. Maybe we should get the extra money. That's 5,940, that's pretty affordable. And our next uh, Moab grapple is back available. Okay. So now we have camo lead, which is a little scary, but once again, it gets permanently unveiled after it goes through this one submarine. So I think that's good at this point. Okay, so I'm almost at this. What is this? Oh gosh, eat it, eat it, eat it. Did that work? I don't know if it did. Maybe it didn't. I feel like it used to do that in BDD5, so maybe it doesn't work anymore. I don't know. Uh, for now though, we'll go ahead and destroy what we can. I'll do that. That makes things a little bit easier. So that was our first red, I think that may be our first red one. Or maybe it wasn't because we've defeated normal difficulty before. So whatever's on the last round of this, you know, hard difficulty, I don't know what that's gonna be. But now that we've gotten that extra money, we can keep saving stuff up there. 21,600 21, is so expensive, but it's also an ability, so it must be worth the while. Oh, these are ceramics. Ceramic enforced Moabs or something. Hmm. I don't think there's any way we can fit in, oh gosh. Jeez, every time. Anything more really doesn't look like it. So I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Okay, okay, hold on. That didn't do anything. Hold on, hold on. Oh wow, we were able to slow them down on the way back in. Okay, or the way out. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up another one of those because I feel like that's really good. Because like, what did you have? You had the bottom one. So let's go ahead and do the, the middle one for that one. Looks well, a little bit different for sure. <laughs> How are you doing in experience? 9,000. We got a lot more work to do with it though. Can we defeat this daily challenge? This is actually possible for me. Grab one. Okay, so maybe another cannon. Get it like here and make this one a MOA mauler. Uh, let's do bigger bombs. Heavy bombs would be good as well. So we're destroying that thing decently quickly. Nice, okay, so keep going. Get the MOA mauler. 865 now. We can get that very soon. Come on, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. 865, got it. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I'm like really, really nervous. I mean, soon enough I might have to pop you out, the submerge, and put you like on strong. For now though. Okay, so let's try this again. It does bring one in, that's amazing. So it just like automatically eats it. That's why it's one of the most powerful towers, I think. Okay, so what can we upgrade? We can get the 3455 for you so we have two Moab Molars so we can get rid of more Moabs more quickly. I mean, at this point, we could try to save up an insane amount of cash. I mean, I think the 9,000 is what we want to do is get that 9,000, make that work. Okay, so let's get to it. Keep moving, keep moving. Okay. So let me just bash these as much as I possibly can because it just, it works a lot better. And then we're able to destroy those practically immediately. Okay. So I'm looking for a red one again. Once they start popping up with the red ones, I know things are gonna go bad. Right here, got it. Immediately popped. That's what I'm looking for. That's why it feels like it'd be good to have more than one. But I feel like the guy making extra money is also really nice. But I just need the 9,000 for that. It's it's tough to save up 9,000, that's for sure. Okay, so we're at 6,000 now. These camos, they don't know nothing. Okay, 7,000 now. We're getting there, we're building up slowly but surely. This game's a lot of fun though. It is just sort of fun to, you know, slowly but surely build stuff up and sort of see how things go. I don't know if it was necessary to destroy those Moabs like that. Okay, we're at the 9,000, I need a couple hundred more. Oh gosh, this one's gonna be scary, but as soon as we can get this out, if we can get it out, that should make a big difference, I think. I sure hope so, the airplanes are going all over the place and then they have to go through a second time. They really haven't made it that far in. Okay, definitely grab that, nice. Easy stuff. Okay, break that one. Break another one, sure, why not? I hope it goes for the strongest one when you do that. Because if so, I wanna get a couple more of these out. Uh, can I fit them in between here? I can, just like that. Okay, eat that one, got it. Extra range sounds good for you. Okay, so things are going pretty nice, if you ask me. Oh, we got some upgrades for this dude. No, 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 wrong thing. For this. Okay, it's on the bomb shooter. 
we have 25,000, so we can afford the really cheap one, which is Bomb Blitz. Maybe we should do that. Uh, when a balloon escapes, a bomb storm will destroy every balloon on screen below a BFB. That sounds insane. How much is it? 37,800. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford that anytime soon. These are so expensive. How are you supposed to do that? I don't know. We're almost there. Let's grab that one. I hope that was worth my while. Feels like I want to replace some of these guys. Like the money making ones, like doesn't feel like it's doing so well anymore. I, mean, I should wait between rounds for sure. But I feel it could be better to have something beyond that. I think it'd be smarter to have, like I mean, I'm making a lot of money as it is. And maybe I'll find out how bad of an idea that was. But for now, we're going with something like this. Cause you took the bottom two, you taking the top two seems like it's pretty good. You're a very large ship now. And could we possibly, no, well that's definitely not gonna fit. Fit another submarine in there somewhere. I was doubting it, but you always gotta make sure. I mean, I could always go ahead and, so we have two of these now, right? Yeah, we do. That's very good. So go ahead and destroy what I can, grab another Zong. Guess what it's called, right? I think so. Okay, so, what else do we got around here? Not too much, I just gotta keep going with this. We're about to win, but we might still lose. It's sort of really, really close. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Slow them down, slow them down. What was the one that, no! Darn it. I really wanna win this one now. Dang. Should I spend 400 monkey bucks on this? I'm probably gonna lose again. <sighs> you know what, we're gonna do it. No, we're not. It's not worth it, is it? I don't think so. Let's go home. How much would I have earned? Oh, I'm not, not, not worth 400, I don't think. Okay, well, I had some fun with that. We, we won some, we lost some, and we got to play with some fun boomerang monkeys, which was my main focus for today's episode. So in the next episode, it looks like we'll be moving forward with some of the uh, advanced maps, and then after that, some expert, which does not seem like it's gonna be so fun. Hold on, wait a minute, I forgot to spend my monkey knowledge, so we're not done quite yet. I still wanna focus on the primaries, because I'm using those guys a lot, but we do need three points into something before I can start upgrading this stuff, which is what I wanted, because it gets me down to like a free dart monkey, and then eventually, which I think is the big thing, um, if I could see it, is the more starting catch. That sounds really overpowered. So if I could maybe, like, the tax wouldn't be so bad, and then we also have frog bombs, get two extra frags. Ooh, I could have used that in today's episode. Okay, well, what am I gonna focus on next episode when it comes to uh, towers? If I take a look at towers, monkeys, how do you, you get them in order? So the next one would be bomb shooter. So let me go ahead and upgrade the bomb shooter a little bit, just like this, go to the primary, go with the frag, nice. And what is this one? Bomb shooters cluster bombs cost reduced by 100%. Sounds good to me, let's go ahead and upgrade. Oh, I can't get that one? I need at least one more point in something else. Oh, okay. So then I might focus on something with like the tax shooter. And then if I had a, yeah, I do have enough. I can go ahead and do this one. Very good, because I want to fo eventually focus on these ones as well. There's so many different options though. So with all that being said, that for real this time is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Bloons TD6. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Boomerang Zebra. So you have watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.